Lipids are essentially fatty substances in our body that have three important roles. The first important role of a lipid is in the triglyceride molecule in adipose cells. An adipose cell is just a fat cell. The second thing is in phospholipid bilayers. The phospholipid bilayer is essentially responsible for uh, creating that barrier for the outside and inside of the cell. And, and, and this allows exocytosis and endocytosis, which is the movement of bigger macromolecules inside and outside cells, which are lipid. Uh, and the third is cholesterol. Cholesterol is basically compo composed of lipids. It, it allows the, the mobility uh, of, of the phospholipid bilayer. And this is discussed more in further, in further detail. All these three points are discussed in very detail in other videos, but this is just an overview of what lipids are. So to get a better understanding, I have a question. For something to dissolve well in water, what chemical properties do we expect? So when something is said to be well dissolved in water, that is a reference to hydrophilic. So the question is essentially asking, if we went down in a molecular chemistry perspective and we asked what is the chemistry behind a lipid, we really find out that lipids are are composed of carb carbons and hydrogens, and they're just long chains of carbons and hydrogens. That's basically what it is. So to answer answer this question, we can better understand uh, by looking at these two. Uh, we can look at this is right right here. This is this is a methane group, and this right here is a methanol group. So a methanol group has a hydroxide attached, which makes it hydrophilic. It allows it to dissolve better in water compared to the methane. So the point is, the point is if something is not polarized, it's probably not going to be a good uh, solvent. Uh, uh, it's not going to be dissolved well in the solvent, which is obviously water in this case. Just to keep in mind that this is going to be explained in detail later on that lipids are essentially just very long carbon and hydrogen chains that's all that's all what lipids are so just yeah lipids are fatty acids 40 to 80 carbon chains generally and here's another question uh why are fatty acids always in even number and this is going to make more sense in future videos if you look at the rest of the videos regarding lipids uh specifically the, the tri triglyceride video which explains the chemical formula and how it's composed, but the answer to this question is because they are synthesized at a time with two carbons, which is the acetate. So how these lipid long chains are synthesized is through these acetate molecules. As you can see, acetate has a carbon, has, has two carbons, and this allows these two carbons to come together to form longer chains. And, and that is basically the what you should take away from this video are these three points these three things are basically what lipids do in our body and, and their primary function